Alright, so as long as I'm my name's Elmer Freed, and it's been a long time, but I'm gonna make another Heroes of Islam video. This is episode number three, and this is Heroes of Islam, Tariq Ibn Ziyad. Yeah, okay, let's get started. Alright, so the Moor Empire. The Moors, otherwise known as the Berbers, were a group of Muslim Africans who crossed the Iberian Peninsula in 710 with the help of Tariq ibn Ziyad and Musa ibn Nusayr to Al Andalusia, also known as Spain, where they laid the foundation of the Moorish Empire. They have been known to be religious, though they did come to a fateful end due to their worldly desires and greed. They were the ones who left a lasting legacy in Spain and who had been responsible for the conversion of many pagans to Islam. And they were also the active leaders, not to just the Muslims, but also to the Jews and the Christians. So who was Tariq? Tariq ibn Ziyad was born sometime in the year 670, although his place of birth and exact date are not clearly known. To be honest, not much is known about him, due to several accounts. Although he is depicted as a white Middle Eastern man, he was actually a black Moor, otherwise known as a Moroccan. You might ask, what exactly is he so famous for? The answer is, he was one of the most religious generals in Islamic history, and he led an entire fleet of Muslim ships across the Iberian Peninsula into Spain, folked the pagans, and conquered it for the Muslims, all in 710. So, Life of Ibn Ziyad Tariq's life before Andalusia, he was basically a skilled warrior, great fighter, excellent general, heart, he had a heart of a lion, strategic commander, and he was well laid off. Tariq's life after Al-Andalusia, became a governor of Al-Andalusia, thrived in peace for quite some time, traveled, and then sadly passed away in Damascus Hashams in 720. So his legacy. Honestly, I think you guys have guessed it by now. Really and truly, the greatest heroes of Islam have and will always be the barbarians in the eyes of modern society. The truth about Tariq is that yes, he is criticized, but not as much as the other heroes of Islam. In a way, you could say that they do accept him, however, they don't mention many things about him. Such as he was a black man, he was a Muslim general, he conquered Spain for the Muslims alongside Musa ibn Yusir. Truth be told, if it was not for Tariq and the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, many Hispanics and Latinos wouldn't have Muslim ancestors. Really, Spain, France, and Italy would never have been Muslim countries if it were not for him and others. He truly is a real hero of Islam that I will look up to and reflect upon for a long time. And as usual, my credits, Wikipedia, DeviantArt, Google, Google Images, and obviously Lost Islamic History. So yeah, until next time, inshallah ta'ala, please do comment and everything, and uh, I will see you guys next time, inshallah.